Good day and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making a pepperoni with peppers and onion pizza using store-bought dough. I didn't make the dough fresh. At some point I'll make a video on how to make pizza dough. But this is store-bought pizza dough. You can buy it in any of your grocery stores in your bakery department. You just put it in your bake, lightly greased baking sheet, non-stick. You just lightly oil it with olive oil. And you press it out to fit in the pan. This is a 10 by 15 inch baking pan, which we're gonna pre-bake in a 425 degree oven for six to eight minutes before we add our toppings. While that is baking, we'll take our mozzarella cheese and we'll grate it on our box grater to get the best flavor. Because the pre-shredded cheeses, they put a chemical in it to keep it from sticking, which alters how it melts and also gives it a different flavor. So we're gonna be grating our own cheese today. So I've pressed the dough out into a 10 by 15, the store-bought dough, pressed it out into a 10 by 15 baking sheet. We're gonna bake it at 425, pre-bake it in a preheated oven for six to eight minutes. We'll set the timer for six minutes and then check it. Meanwhile, we'll take and grate our cheese for our pizza. Using the box grater, which is very easy to do. As you can see, it makes nice grated cheese. Okay, I'll be back when I finish this process, and then by then, our dough should be pre-baked. Okay, our dough is pre-baked for eight minutes. It went eight minutes. And now we're gonna take and add uh, one half cup of tomato sauce. You can use any sauce you like, any store-bought sauce you like. Or if you made the homemade spaghetti sauce recipe on my channel and you had any left over, this would be a good place to use it as well. I'm gonna be making eventually a video on how to make your own pizza dough, but today I just thought we'd do a quick video using a store-bought pizza dough. Just about every supermarket in their bakery department sells pizza dough already made, which isn't a bad pizza dough. I've used them, well I'm using them today, and they taste pretty decent. Now we'll add our uh, eight ounces of grated mozzarella cheese. It's not hard to grate your own. If you don't want to, it's all a matter of preference. You can buy the pre-grated, the already grated cheese.
whatever you prefer, it's all a matter of taste. I prefer to use less, have less chemicals whenever I can avoid them. So I just grate my own, it's not that hard to do. And that was eight ounces of shredded mozzarella cheese. Now we're gonna add a third of a cup sliced pepperoni. Looks like we didn't need our whole third of a cup, so you got a couple of slices to snack on. Now we'll take thinly sliced onions and thinly sliced bell pepper, about matchstick size. Put that on top. some bell pepper. Okay, now this will go back into our 425 degree oven for six to seven minutes. Set our timer for six. And it could go to a little bit longer on six minutes I think we're gonna let it go for another one or two minutes probably end up cooking for seven to eight minutes it's looking very nicely the side edges are starting to get a little golden so be back in one to two minutes Okay, it's been eight minutes. The edges are nice and golden brown. We're gonna take it out of the oven now. Looking very good. Okay, our pizza's out of the oven. We're gonna remove it from the baking sheet to a cutting board. And then we'll have a look. Okay, we're gonna take and remove our pizza from the pan to a cutting board. Okay, we have our pizza on our cutting board. We made a pepperoni 
with peppers and onion pizza using store-bought dough. We'll take and give it a cut. I don't know if you can hear that crunch. Nice crunch, crispy crunch, crust. Cuts very nicely. You can hear that crunch. It's got a nice crust. Cheese is melted nicely. See if we get a look at that crust on the bottom, a nice golden brown bottom. And there you have it. Pepperoni with onions and bell pepper pizza made with store-bought dough. Very simple and easy recipe to do. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. And if you did, hit the like and subscribe button. And don't forget the notification bell. That'll let you know whenever I put up new content. This will make a very good dinner. Or a lunch or a snack or however you want to have it. Thank you for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one.